Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uga Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, first and foremost, let me start this video off by saying this, y'all. I've never seen so many people actually wanting somebody to go to jail as much as people want popular YouTuber Omi and the Hellcat in jail. <laughs> you know, I mean, you have people sitting there saying things such as, oh, you deserve to be in jail a big fraud and you stole from people you would have thought that Omi actually stole millions from them or did something bad to someone in their family <laughs> you know but that just goes to show you man the amount of hate that people have in their heart for others and it don't even matter whether they know them or not you know that's the crazy part I'm not saying Omi is an angel but one thing you never do is wish jail or death on anybody because growing up, I was told that when you wish something on someone, it tends to meet you quicker than the person you intended it for. Not only that, y'all, but jail is no place for anybody. Um, I mean, of course, if you done got somebody off this earth or you touching minors or things of that nature, that's different. But I feel if people actually got to experience jail, then you wouldn't be so quick to wish it upon people. All right. Now, do some people deserve to be in jail for breaking the law? Of course. All right. From that, I expect. But... My point is, some people are just social media driven to have hate for other people that they don't even know, and it's just based off things that they see on social media, and that's bad, man. But anyway, I said all I had to say this. As y'all know, popular YouTuber Omi and the Hellcat was arrested and convicted on counts of fraud, money laundering, conspiracy, copyright infringement, and tax evasion for a scheme in which he illegally sold content he hijacked from cable boxes to subscribers for fees as low as $15 per month. Now, his scheme, which offered movies and hundreds of channels that were stolen from big legitimate providers such as Comcast, Verizon, Fios, and DirecTV, Gears TV was the platform Omi offered, and a good idea that Omi deemed at first was just a loophole helped Omi acquire over $30 million, and that's just the money that the feds could prove. I right, ain't no telling if it was any more or we'll just keep it at that, man. Now, on March 7, 2023, a verdict was reached in Omi's case where he was sentenced to five and a half years in federal prison and was ordered to pay back almost $30 million in assets, including $6 million in cash, as well as luxury cars, including Lamborghinis, Bentleys, Porsches, McLarens, as well as an extensive portfolio of properties in and around Philadelphia. Before surrendering himself to the feds, Omi would make videos documenting the countdown to the decision of his fate. And honestly, if you ask me, most people may not agree, but to make all that money and only receive five and a half years for it, that's truly a blessing. All right. However, it seems like everyone doesn't quite feel the same. Recently, Omi would take to his Instagram account and announce that he would be coming home very soon in an Instagram post where he said, quote, December 24th, I'll be home. Laughing emojis and a hundred emojis. Now, why did he do that? Because as much as you think people would be happy for him, it was the total opposite. Say Cheese reposted a post of Omi claiming that he'll be home next year and the comments was through the roof. One user said, quote, Everybody who ever did business with him, go pay your retainer today. Pretty much insinuating that Omi snitched on somebody. However, Omi caught the case himself and admitted to doing everything himself because everything was in his name pretty much or under his company, Gears Reloaded. So I don't know who else Omi would be snitching on other than himself, but then another user would say, quote, N-word had to explain all that so nobody think he a rat. You ain't have nobody to tell on, bro. You good. Now, 
Maybe he did run to the internet to defend himself so quick because he don't want anybody think he a snitch. Duh. <laughs> because that's the first thing people do these days. That snitch term is so thrown around so loosely these days that it's not even credible anymore. Before, to call someone a snitch, first of all, you had to be somebody and you had to have very, very, very accurate proof. If not, you was risking your life because people lost their life for calling other people a snitch back in those days. But these days, social media give anybody a voice and you can do it anonymously. So you get results like this. All right. And it's kind of crazy because at the end of the day, you could also fake paperwork. It's all type of things that you could do these days to actually try to deem somebody a snitch. But once again, if you do do that, just be prepared for what comes with it. Now, of course, Omi would defend himself by responding to people hating and accusing him of snitching by explaining the process in which is enabling him to get out so soon. Now, he said, quote, 66 month sentence, 10 months off for good time. Now we're at 56, 12 months off FSA, first step back, something new in the feds, 44 months left. Now, 12 months off for RDAP program, 32 months left. Now 12 months in a halfway house, so that's how you serve a 20 month sentence out of 66 months. Fire emojis, the Fed changed the game, 100 emojis. Now of course people are going to be people and still say whatever they got to say, so after receiving backlash, Omi will also take to his story again to say, quote, I never knew that there were so many dumb people in this country, laughing emojis. Or if you don't know about a topic, read and learn. FSA was signed into law over three years ago, and in 2023, in February, it went into effect. Now, of course, people will continue to call Omi a snitch in the Say Cheese comments, so he will respond by trolling in the comments to the naysayers, saying, quote, You know what? I am a snitch. I snitched on my damn self for getting online and buying lambs and living the way we all dream. So, yeah, I told on myself. So, for you guys that are lost about an FSA and you know what it is, FSA is an acronym for the First Step Act, which was passed by former President Trump in 2018 to reform federal prisoners in sentencing laws in order to reduce recidivism, decrease the federal inmate population, and maintain public safety. It was approved this year in February. However, you do have to qualify for it first and be approved. Now, another program mentioned by OMI was RDAP, which is short for Residential Drug Abuse Program. It's a program offered by the feds. It reduces the sentences of nonviolent offenders who complete the RDAP program by up to one year. Now, you also have to be accepted in today as well. So people in the comments were saying that the odds of him getting um, accepted into these programs and granted 12 months in the halfway house with such short time is very slim chances. And honestly, they are right. But however, what people have to realize is this. People with money and their court process is way different than the average Joe Schmo's court process. It's levels to it, man. And I'm not saying that that is the case here, but I'm sure only got great lawyers who know legal loopholes or have connections. Just look at it. He got five and a half years for taking, as they say, over $30 million. All right, let me say that again. He got just five and a half years for taking over thirty million dollars. I know people doing way more time than that for way less. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Not to mention, ask yourself. You know how many people would say, you know what? I would sit in jail for five years or three. You know, if I was to get thirty million for it, it's like a, it's, it's a no-brainer if you think about it. Thirty million, five years in jail. Which one you want to take? In the five years with good time usually just convert to three. And for what I'm hearing, you know, the feds got all type of programs to, you know, lessen your time for this and lessen your time for that. So who knows? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But my whole point is to tell y'all this. People with money, their corporate, you can't compare that to yourself. You can't compare that to the average Joe Schmo that's on the block that caught the same case because the money is different. It's levels to it. I know it don't sound right. It may not sound fair, but it's that's how it is. Simple. Or even better, think of it as the same thing as these rappers who continuously get caught with these weapons and somehow don't do a day in jail. Perfect example, Boozy just bonded out when everyone thought he was cooked 
for that weapon charge and it was literally seen on him during a live interview. Then you also have to remember that Omi's crime is non-violent. No weapons involved, nobody hurt or passed away, no drugs, no nothing. So you can't compare his process to others because I also know from experience that non-violent crimes usually don't get too harsh of a sentence, you know, unless you're Bernie Madoff, <laughs> then that's totally different. All right. Now, however it goes for Omi and the Hellcat, man, I wish the best for him. I wouldn't wish jail or death on anybody, especially for a non-violent crime. I just find it funny how we put so much energy into things that really don't matter when your politicians are getting away with much, much worse and nobody seemed to care. They just told us that they found that white stuff in the White House and nobody's even concerned or seemed to care about it. it, it it's like it came today and it's gone by the night simple but let that be me or you and you know everybody be so worried and concerned anyway y'all jump in the comments let me know what y'all think about this and how y'all feel um we just launched the hookah anonymous tv page you know the channel y'all go check that out we'll be uploading lives and clips of videos of your favorite entertainers athletes everybody so make sure y'all go subscribe there now um, if you aren't subscribed here, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.